Keep it private. Keep it private. <laughs> Hi, my name is Erin Gregory. I'm a junior partner here at Search Solution Group, and I am ready for my rapid fire questions. Very rarely do people even read all the way through, so you wanna have your most important stuff that stands out, that makes them say, yes, I wanna turn the page and look at this person's resume. Um, you can send it to me and I'll let you know. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> One thing that you can definitely do is look at the job description, make sure you're using keywords that they're also using in their job description. Uh, make sure those are in your resume. I always recommend to people to reach out to an actual human. Uh, maybe it's the recruiter that's attached to that job. You just send them a little message, you know, hey, I applied. Um, yeah, I'd love to connect with you or something that um, takes it out of the ATS that that person who's looking at it can see, oh, I see that this person is here, and go in and call that person. My favorite question to stump candidates with, what do you wanna be when you grow up? People always are like, oh, I don't, like, they laugh a little bit because they think it's funny that I'm asking that, like, when you're obviously grown, but, you know, people change careers all the time. After an interview, you should always follow up. You should follow up until you hear back. Don't go crazy <laughs> trying to get feedback, but, you know, that there's, you know, there's, if they say they're gonna be back to you by a Wednesday, don't follow up with them Monday, Tuesday. You know, you can send them a thank you note and then follow up on the day that they said they would if, if you haven't heard back. I would say don't fudge your resume. The important thing is to be able to speak to what you've done and um, you know, hey, I did this job, I didn't have this title because they don't have those titles where I work. That's okay. Um, it's like when you work at the bank, everybody's a vice president, you know, but not everybody's a real vice president. <laughs> no. Applying for a job in another state is not going to hurt your chances. It depends on the role, it depends on the company. If the job is remote, obviously, nine times out of 10, you can sit anywhere. Sometimes they do have restrictions on state based on laws. Um, but if you, and if you're willing to relocate, if it's, hey, I want a job in New York, I'm moving back, uh, make sure you put that on your resume at the top, like currently in, open to relocation in X state and, you know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't affect your job chances at all. Yes, you can send any, it's good to have a few, uh, you know, a former boss, um, former leader. If your current leader knows that you're looking, maybe you share them as a reference. Um, just make sure that they're gonna give you a good one. <laughs> I think moving forward, you should definitely try focusing on building relationships at work that are good professional references for yourself. Um, and it's always just, it's good to have a few people in your back pocket that you know, even if it's a coworker, it doesn't necessarily have to be a boss. It's better if you have somebody who was in your leader, your leader before. So always check your references, say, hey, um, you know, are you gonna give me a good reference? <laughs> I mean, I would just be honest because you don't want somebody to mess up your chances of getting the job, which we have had happen before. And make sure you're doing a good job and that your references are trustworthy. Sometimes after I have a conversation with them, they're not a fit for the role. So I say, hey, you know, this person, this client's really looking for X, Y, Z. And people love to just argue. 
with me about it. And I'm like, but you don't have the experience or you don't have this. And, and that's like one of their top three things that they're looking for, you know? And um, people just like to fight for the job and I get it, you know, if, if I get it. But at the end of the day, if you're not qualified, just say thank you. I'll keep you in mind for other things. Be confident and not cocky. Um, be, um, be able to speak about yourself and brag about yourself a little bit, but also be humble and um, the right job is, is out there for everyone. It's just it, sometimes it takes a little bit of time and it can be frustrating, but just keep at it because you will find something that's for you.